Okay, I would like to welcome everyone to our um, October admissions meeting. Um, we have a great lineup for you tonight, and we will give you next steps on how to ask questions and come back with us. Um, so this will be a monthly series. Each month we'll have a different um, subject and uh, focus. But I'd like to first introduce one of the most important people we have here on campus, um, our principal, Mrs. Cor Colleen Martin. Hello everyone, thank you Ms. Williams and welcome to our um, admissions meeting. Uh, as we do with all things at St. Patrick St. Vincent High School, um, I would like to begin this meeting um, with a prayer and uh, we have selected our school prayer that most of our students say um, uh, several times a day um, before a class or at the end of a class or just simply um, when they're seeking the guidance and um, strength from, from our patron saints, St. Patrick and St. Vincent. So please join me. Allow yourselves to come into your own sacred space. Take a deep breath and let us remember that we're in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, give us this day the desire to learn, the courage to act, the determination to lead, the voice to speak, and the heart to serve. St. Patrick, St. Vincent, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. So as you can see on Ms. Williams' screen, uh, that was a photo of myself from uh, graduation two years ago, and then the other photo was of my daughter, Maisie. She is a senior this year, and uh, I, I, I could not have chosen a better school for my daughter to attend. Uh, she has had a, a fantastic experience, and uh, despite the fact that we have been in distance learning for so long, uh, she is most grateful for the uh, time that she has had here and the relationships that she has built with many of the faculty, staff, and students, um, and community members that she has come in contact with because of this amazing place. Um, today, I wanted to talk just a little bit about some of the highlights of what we have to offer here as, as, um, as an academic institution. Um, and uh, we are a full college prep uh, high school. We offer uh, a broad range of academics. Uh, all students take at least take four four years of uh, religion, four years of English, three years of science, at least three years of math. Most students take four years of both. And um, a wide range of uh, visual and performing arts courses. Um, we have a, a connection in our science department with UC Davis. Um, we team with UC Davis to to offer our students uh, some experiences within the environmental science program. And uh, it has been a, 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 a um, a joint relationship where our students have benefited from doing some of some research with UC Davis and it has been a, a very successful program. Some of our students are actually uh, have some of their specimens cataloged at UC Davis and um, it has been a great experience for those students. Um, we offer a wide range of AP courses. Last year, we, we had 16 AP exams uh, that we offered to our students. And um, in, in the year 1920, 100% uh, of our students that were enrolled in the AP courses, they, they took their AP exam. And uh, of those exams, over 80% 0.5% had a passing score of three or above. That's just an amazing number. Um, uh, that's an amazing pass rate. And uh, we're very proud of, of our students. Um, we offer some courses in engineering and technology. Um, we have a brand new makerspace that we have been running um, courses out of for the past two years. Uh, in this space, we have a robotics lab. And in addition, um, the students have the opportunity to uh, work and design with our 3D printers and our Glowforge machine. Many students take advantage of this, not only students enrolled in the courses, um, but students have also uh, also have the ability to reach out to our director of technology if they have something that they want to work on or a project that they have to do and they want to design something on their own he will walk them through those steps and uh, that space is accessible to them as well um, we are truly a student 
first focus in everything that we do. When we design our master schedule, when we design our courses every year, we take a look at what our student needs are. We, um, we spend time talking with students. Our counseling department meets with our students at least twice a year uh, individually. And we really learn from what their needs are and what they want to do year to year. We, uh, when I first came six years ago, we did not have um, an instrumental music program. And so we realized that we had several students that wanted to participate in instrumental music. And so we introduced that program and it has grown over the past six years. We now have uh, at least three sections, including an honor section for instrumental music. Um, we have spent some time in distance learning over the past uh, seven months. Uh, we introduced uh, in-person learning back in this past week. We had two days of in-person instruction where we had about a third of our students return. Uh, two thirds of our students chose to stay in distance learning for a variety of reasons and uh, many have communicated that they will be considering returning to in person instruction back in January. Our teachers are running a dual instruction model where they're not only teaching the students in front of them, but they are also running a live stream Zoom. And uh, the students are actively participating both at home and in the classroom. We are working together with our community to make changes every day. Uh, this year we have experienced many different things where uh, we had to quickly make adjustments. We, we have uh, termed our, uh, we, have, we have coined our, um, our motto to be faith and flexibility. Um, we are uh, faithful and we, uh, we are appreciative of everything that God has given us. However, we have learned that we need to be flexible. And um, it, it is really to the credit of the faculty and the staff that are here that our students continue to be successful no matter where they are. And, uh, and so I, I just want to really take a moment and publicly thank them for everything that they have done. And uh, we, we know that our students are who they are, both here at St. Pat's, out in the community while they're students at St. Pat's, and also as they continue on into higher education and in, in their careers because of who they, because of who they have been taught by. And so, um, so I thank you for, for joining us and I thank you for taking some time. If you have any questions about any of the academics that we offer, uh, if you would like to um, talk a little bit more about the curriculum that is covered in each, uh, in each of those courses, you can refer to the, some information that are, that's on our website where you can find our course catalog or you can always reach out and email Ms. Williams for more information. So thank you. Okay, next um, we would like to have hear from one of our veteran teachers. She's not, uh, she's been here a long time, but I think that um, she was born here because she uh, is so amazing and energetic and starts so many pro uh, great things that have happened here. So Mrs. Nora Rogers. Thank you, Mrs. Williams. So as my slide sh says, this is my 29th year teaching here at St. Patrick's St. Vincent Catholic High School. And to say that I love my job, I think is a little bit of an understatement. I am so grateful every day that I get to come to a job that I love. And I'm especially grateful this week that there were actually students in my classroom and um, to see their faces and uh, get to interact with them on that level, it, it just made me even more appreciative. I, I love my job for a variety of reasons. And the, the students hands down are top of the list. But I, I would just like to address the, the people with whom I work, the administration, my fellow teachers, uh, our staff, are, are just some of the most amazing people that I have met in my life. It, it is a privilege to work with them. The, the care that they show for their students and that I feel like we show for one another uh, is a model for the rest of our world. We, we are truly a community of learners here at St. Patrick's St. Vincent Catholic High School. And it's not from the top down, it's very much a, a fluid experience that um, I feel like I learned from my students. I, I sure hope they learn from me, but we, we support one another, we challenge one another and um, 
we, we work through things. I think the whole experience with COVID and distance learning moving to dual learning is a, is a really good example that um, we, we really do want what's best for our students who are your children. And it, it comes through in little things. Teachers are willing to work with students almost any time of the day before school, at our breaks, at lunch, after school, uh, creating a schedule for this year. We have specific periods built in where teachers are available for students um, in the distance learning. We've come up with more clubs since we can't have activities. The director of student activities worked with faculty to create clubs that, that students could participate in since it has to be virtual. Um, I am so grateful that parents send their children to this school. And I, I hope that if you have any questions, you feel comfortable asking. This is a, a great place to work. And I, I, uh, I thank you for considering our school. Wonderful, thank you so much. Um, next we have um, Mr. Bates. Um, he's a graduate from SPSV and a current math teacher. Um, he's recorded his words for us today, so I'm going to um, play that recording for us now. Hello, everyone. My name is uh, Mr. Bates, and I am currently one of the math teachers at SPSV. I am an alumni of SPSV class of 2014. I went to the University of San Francisco after attending here and I also uh, decided to stay in San Francisco for a year and teach in San Francisco public schools um, and I had a wonderful wonderful time teaching in those uh, in my school in San Francisco um, but ultimately I felt that I wanted to come back to SPSV and be a part of the community that I, I uh, learned so much from I grew from and uh, I want to give that opportunity back to um, uh, other students. Um, here at SPSV, I am, again, a math teacher. Uh, I currently teach Algebra 2 and uh, AP Statistics, as well as regular statistics. Um, I also am part of the Sociology or Social Studies Department, um, and I teach Ethnic Studies. But my job doesn't uh, just stop at the classroom. I am fortunate enough to be a assistant varsity basketball coach for the girls team and the head JV coach as well. Um, I also partnered with another teacher, Mrs. Natty, and we are the moderators for Link Crew. Link Crew is a great program that all the freshmen will be a part of. Um, in Link Crew, we team up student leaders and freshmen um, to give the freshmen the opportunity to have a person of, of contact with, a, pers a point person that they can, uh, that can be their guide or someone that they can talk to uh, right before they start classes on campus. And the, our Link Crew leaders are, are awesome. They're really great. They, they want to give back to the freshmen. They want to see the freshmen succeed and they really do an awesome job of being someone that they can go to and welcome them into our SPSV community. Uh, at SPSV, I, th I think we offer a unique opportunity to all of our students in that we want to see the entire child grow into who they want to be and we offer so many wonderful programs and we want them to be a part of everything and we know they can't. Um, but we try our best to encourage them to do what you feel like is important to you. Um, be the person that you want to be because ultimately that's all we can ask of you. Uh, again, I, I'm so happy and honored to, to be back at a school that cared so much for me and I care for it as well. And I, I can't be happier uh, with my choice than, although it was a tough one, and leaving San Francisco. I'm happy and honored that I was able to come back to a place that opened me again with welcome arms and with open arms and uh, I, I can't be happier than to be a teacher at SPSV. So 
uh, I hope you all choose to, to come here and you get to be part of this magic because it truly is magical. Uh, until next time, see you soon. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bates. I just say one thing. Uh, I, I really appreciated everything that Mr. Bates said. I think he kind of summed up exactly what Ms. Rogers and I uh, were saying. And uh, I just did a, a quick count because I had to refresh my memory, but I believe it's the number is 14 of uh, the alumni that have come back to serve in this community. And um, that is from, um, from Sheila, our director of admissions, um, to teaching in the classroom, to um, just folks that are out and about on this campus. And it really says a lot. Uh, about who our students become and um, going back to our school prayer, which happens to be behind MJ, which I didn't realize, um, it really is their, their determination to go and lead the community and, um, and, and their heart to serve uh, those that are around them. And so uh, it, is, it is really um, something that makes us uh, unique and uh, not just uh, unique to, to just any educational institution, but unique in uh, the, the Catholic uh, institution that, that is serving the community for 150 years now. Um, and so I just wanted to add that in there. Thank you. Okay, next we have the much um, awaited MJ Collada, who was recommended by his teachers um, to be an outstanding speaker. Um, and he has been a wonder to work with. So um, hopefully when your student is here, MJ will be one of the leaders um, helping them to start their experience here at SPSD. So MJ, if you wanna go ahead and start. Well, thank you, Mrs. Williams for that intro and Mrs. Rogers too for the mention a while ago. Um, so hello all, I'm a student here at SPSD. Uh, I'm a sophomore. And before high school, I actually came from one of the feeder schools here in Vallejo. I was a St. Catherine star. And on top of that, I actually came from the East Coast and moved here in 2016. So that was a huge transition in my life. So I was pretty nervous as to how I would go into high school and merge in because it's going to be a new community. But even though I was scared, the community here at SPSV was really great. So I was able to blend in easily. So coming in as a freshman, like I mentioned, was really nerve wracking. Um, but the, all the staff, the teachers, everyone else on campus uh, and the adults, they were very helpful to me from getting to know where I have to go to do things like printing or if I need help emotionally or physically or even educationally, they were all there to help. So um, all the teachers, they make all their time is flexible. They make it so whenever the student needs help, rather it be lunch, break, after school, before school, if you need it, they'll always be there to help. And personally, I have gone to the counselors before. I just want to mention that the counselors here are really great. They're gonna get you right on the track that you need to, to get to college. And as Mrs. Martin mentioned, this was a very rigorous course, school, and it's a college prep school. So it is very hard, uh, but it will all work out in the end because it is a college prep school and you will succeed if, as long as you do the work for it. Now moving on, I wanna talk about the educational aspects of the school. Um, I've got to admit, work will be cut out for all the students. However, the education here is extra, extraordinarily well and prepares the students for college. And since we have now applied recently a block schedule for our students, teachers uh, can meet for a longer time, actually around 30 minutes during Mondays and Wednesdays, which is really helpful for the students who need help that are struggling in some sort of concept in any class that they need. And the lectures that the teachers give are very detailed and they help the students. So they can apply that to the homework that the teachers give as well, because it's pushing their minds to the best of their abilities to apply what they've learned onto the homework. Um, and it most definitely helped me personally because I was struggling in some subjects at the beginning of freshman year, but the teachers were there, they gave me everything that I needed and it was really well. And as of right now, we are in COVID still, which is a hardship. But even though it is a hardship, the teachers and everyone at SPSV, they made it work really well as time passed by. So I'm really grateful for, to them for all of that. There are some challenges that I faced, 
even during COVID, but the teachers and all the school, they made it work. So thank you to all of you who are here also because you guys made it work. Um, SPSB collaborated well, worked together with the parents included to see what would be the best options for the students. Like as of right now, some students are actually going back to on campus, which is really good for, the, for those who actually need in-person learning and are having struggles that, are, that they can't do over online teaching. And one last thing I would really like to mention is my favorite thing about the school. So my favorite thing about the school really has to be the community, as I've mentioned so many times during this. Um, if I had, uh, the community has made me feel comfortable since my transition into high school and has helped me guide through my high school life so far. It has prepared me really well for college. Teachers, staff, counselors, and all the adults on campus have been helpful in all sorts of ways. And I thank you all for all of that. And I wish you guys the best when you all do hopefully come to our school and become part of our beautiful community. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much um, for preparing and coming to this. And it's actually Friday afternoon. And so um, giving up some of your weekend to make a special appearance. Next, we have an alumni who is also an alumni parent and current parent. Hi, I'm Sybil Hilario Ignacio. Um, as the picture shows, I was a graduate of at um, I graduated in 1995. Uh, my husband also graduated in 1995. Um, my husband and I came from St. Vincent Elementary School and we became a couple our senior year at St. Pat's. We have two children. My daughter Isabel graduated in 2017 and I have a current senior, Alfred Jr., who's classmates with Mrs. Martin's daughter. Um, Mr. Rogers, Mrs. Rogers' husband is Alfred's English teacher. So. Um, They've taught my children. I've known them from my days as a high school student. Um, but I think that with St. Pat's, it's, as, Mike, as Michael said, the community is special. Um, when sending my kids there, I knew that they were going to receive top-notch education and just the ability to excel and grow as students and leaders and that when they were going to graduate, they were going to be prepared for anything that life was going to throw at them. Um, my daughter chose to move out of state her freshman year and went to University of Hawaii and her experience was great but she realized it wasn't the best bet for her it wasn't the match for her and she came home and she was successful at the junior college at Napa and then she decided to go on to Long Beach and she started there this year but due to COVID she's back home as with my son um, however with St. Pat's I feel like the support in the community there has always has given both my children um well for my son my he has been given the opportunity to go back to school successfully when COVID happened in march he was back online and all of the teachers and staff are working extremely hard to not skip a beat and he's received his education and he's done very well and now he's back in school he's one of the few kids that decided that I decided was best for him because he's also conditioning for football. But for me as a parent and advising other parents, St. Pat's is an amazing place to send your children to. Religious studies, just having your children have a safe place to grow and be challenged and be supported. This is definitely the school to go to and I can encourage other parents more and I think I feel blessed that I had the opportunity to go there and to be a speaker today and just share my experience as a former student and now a parent. So thank you to all the staff. I truly appreciate it. It's been an amazing eight years <laughs> being a parent there. And I will always continue to support St. Pat's and do whatever I can as an alumni. So I, I think all parents will make a great decision having their children here. Thank you so much, Sybil. Um, a little about myself. My name is Sheila Lynch Williams. I'm director of admissions. Um, I've worked here since uh, 27 years. I'm not quite as long as uh, Mrs. Rogers, um, but for me, it's a family tradition. Um, these are my grandparents. They graduated in 1921. That's my grandfather and my grandmother. They were classmates. 
And these are my parents from the class of 1959. This is my dad hanging out there and my mom holding her books and that's their personality. And then these are my two uh, students who graduated SPSV class of 2011 and 2014. Sarah is a designer and an artist. She graduated from UC Santa Cruz. And my son is a graduate of Sac State and he's currently in paramedic school. So I'm very proud of them and they were fully prepared for everything um, that they met after school um, from graduating here, uh, despite having their mom uh, work at the school as well. Um, a couple of other things that are super important. Uh, we're back on campus. We started this week. You heard that before. Um, what does it cost to come here? This year's tuition is $15,995. Um, there's a $600 um, registration fee due in March. So the total is $16,595. Most families will pay this in 11 monthly installments from June through April. So it's $14.54 a month, but we do offer financial aid. The process begins November 1st and runs through January 31st. Um, it's important to meet these deadlines so that we can do um, our assessments and the business office can offer um, their letters um, to families in a timely manner. To access financial aid, you would go through our website. Um, you'd go to the admissions page and then click on tuition and financial assistance. Just for some background, um, the class of 2020, 65% of our families received financial aid. That was 108 students. So um, it is available. We, we always have more um, requests than we have a, that we can handle. Um, but we do try to give to as many families as fairly as possible um, and distribute all of our monies in, uh, in the best way. So. Um, please apply. Um, as far as the admissions process, we have a lot going on right now. This is um, the time to be here and the time to find out about us. So we have an interest group. If you're a sixth or seventh grader and would like to be part of um, our monthly mailing or emails, um, as well as the, this series, um, please join on the front page of spsv.org. That will uh, let you know about our first Wednesday admissions meetings. Um, the next one will be November 4th. Um, I believe it will be ticket to college, but each month will have a different um, theme. So one may be um, extracurriculars like athletics and choirs, um, and we'll continue on letting you know each, each the agenda for each month. This month, a couple weeks from now, we have an open house. We will be on campus giving tours um, as at this point, um, but we need to have you have an appointment. We have to limit the number of students that we can have on campus at the right time at the same time. So if you contact us at admissions at SPSV, Mrs. Delgado will get you an appointment time. If you're ready to go and you've already decided SPSV is for you, um, you can um, apply at SPSV.org. The apply now button is both on the admissions page and the front page. Part of our process is a high school placement exam um, that will be held here on campus on January 9th. Again, that will be by appointment for so that we enter um, at a slight so we're not a big group when we enter and um, it's a standardized test math and English only. Um, part of another part of our uh, interview process is to have an inter interview with a member of our administration. So we can set those up once you have your application in. Again, admissions at spsv.org. Any questions actually, you can go to admissions at spsv.org. One thing that's a little different about St. Patrick St. Vincent is that I request the recommendations directly from your school. Um, with, that's what we've uh, worked together with the schools for a number of years and it works well and our admissions decisions will go out february 25th um, via email so we look forward to having you join the process and to um, ask us any questions that you may that may have come up while you were here 
you'd like to see your child's picture here. Um, transfer students are also um, welcome. We'd love to have your student transfer. Unfortunately, we aren't able to accept seniors, um, but if you have a sophomore or a junior, we would love to talk to you about an SPSB education. So questions, email admissions at spsb.org. Applications are on our website, spsb.org. And open house reservation and private tour also. Contact Mrs. Delgado at admissions at spsb.org. So we thank you for spending your time with us. So we value you. Um, and we look forward to having your student here at, or at least getting to know about what the special um, this place is about. So thank you very much for your time and have a great day.